Okay, this is the fifth video in the series of Integral Calculus from an Artist's Perspective. And we've already covered the introduction, the approximator objects, and the error collection. Uh, we did a volume comparison, then we had a little break. And now what we're going to do is we, we will approximate the function y is equal to 0.2x squared from x is equal to 0, here's my y-axis in green there, to x is equal to 3, so it's right over there, there's the base of the ag of 3, and then here's from 0 to 2 in the, on the z-axis. So in fact, I'll show it to you from this angle here as well. So there's those objects here, like this. And then we'll use the smallest cube, which is just this one for the moment. And so that's not going to do a very good job. But let's just see what it does anyway. And in the future, when I run these simulations, what I'll do is I'll probably just dynamically run the curves into the scene because I'm pro using uh, I'm using a programming language to control most of this. But there's one thing I found is, notice I've all I've done for my limits of integration at three, I just went in here and unlike, you know, using an equation, I just grabbed the plane and I added it to the scene of that height, like that, and I added this plane down here, and those, and really become my boundaries like this. And then for boundary up here, then we have another issue is that, is that I learned from other trials that when I'm placing an object in here, that just the nature of the physics is enough to cause some of them to bounce out before it's even filled up. They kind of bounce on top of each other. So what I have here in the scene down here, it will use is this object here. It'll be transparent when I actually run it. Yikes, let me escape that. Let me get this and move it right on top. And I'll verify that here. You'll see it as when I run it because it, I'll run it transparently. So we can see that it covers that edge and it covers this edge right there. So it covers each one so nothing can escape as we go. All right, so that's what we're going to try and do. We'll look at it from a little bit closer, like about like that. And then we'll run the simulation as well. All right, so there it is. So there's our transparency based on that. So we can see in, we'll use the uh, cube approximator, even though we really need something smaller. But we'll, I'll deal with that in another video. And so let's see, let me find where it is. So there it is here. So I need to move it over and make sure that, so that's outside, Oop, that's outside. I'll get it. All right, I'm just gonna verify. It looks like it doesn't go out. So these initial ones that I'm putting into the scene, they don't really affect the approximation of the object. So, but let's run it anyway and see what happens. See if they actually stay contained within the walls. All right, yeah, and you can see it's hitting this surface here like this. So they're not bouncing out. And then you can see it kind of a little bleed through on there, but I'll have to deal with that as far as the error approximations as well. Notice the more I stuff in, the more they want to push through. And so, well, I, I get a total volume, you know, about 31 before it looks like some popped out of there. So that's kind of a really rough approximation because the cubes obviously aren't small enough and I don't have quite enough control over the uh, boundary controls here but 31 so you can take the integral on that and verify it see how close that was I don't think that was close at all I know from the previous trials that those cubes are way too big and we really need like a tetrahedron to really make it work but um, but we'll try some other things and uh, when I run the equations next basically what I'll do is I'll calculate the equations and we'll approximate it and we'll see how much of a difference there is so that's it for this particular video and I'll see you in the next video